Most holy name of our God Almighty be magnified. Today's devotion is from Psalm 90. The topic is eternity and frailty. This psalm is written by Moses while wandering in the wilderness of Sinai for 40 years. They were not getting anywhere and Israelites were facing God's judgment. Everyone 21 years and older were dying in the desert for the next 40 years as they took sides with the unbelieving spies and not with the Caleb and Joshua we read about this incident in the Old Testament God's wrath fell upon them upon all the adults almost every day there were dead bodies to bury as they moved on they left a vast field of graveyard behind them Moses therefore falls prostrate before God seeing the deaths every day. People lived for 70 years or at the most 80 years. He felt like God was constantly sending people to the grave. Moses falls before God in great sorrow with painful heart. However, Moses is exalting the Lord for his greatness and faithfulness. He finds eternal peace in God and he finds God infinite and unchangeable his goodness exists forever great lesson and warning for us when disobedient we shall face the consequences of our actions so in verse 12, the psalmist is praying to God, teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts into wisdom, that we may be wise, fearing God, understanding our brevity, numbering correctly in God's perspective, while living and prioritizing God and things of God in our lives. Seeking first the kingdom of heaven, Moses asking the Lord God to prolong their life so that they may live in the fear of God. We might have prayed the same prayer in the past as Moses prayed. When we were seriously sick or when our life was in danger. We make promises before God to live for him when he prolongs our life. But when we get better or when we are delivered from danger, soon we forget about our promises. All the promises what, he pro what we promise to God, we soon forget. We should not be like Old Testament, unbelieving, disobedient people. New Testament believers are hope in Christ. To be away from the world is to be with Christ. Even to Moses, human life he felt like grass, sown, grown, and then it is gone. All orchestrated by God. Moses stands in awe and wonder of the majesty of God. And his wrath, Jesus states, the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. We should live in obedience, asking and pleading for mercy and compassion from God so that our life will be saved from untimely destruction and death due to our own disobedience. 
In verse 17, the psalmist is asking the Lord to look in favor and make his people fruitful. This psalm reminds us of the brevity and shortness of our life on earth and the need for us to use our opportunities, every opportunity for the glory of God. Christ has brought life and victory to us by his death. To die for us is to be with Christ. Joy and triumph in Christ. Hope and victory in Christ. Jesus lives mighty and strong to save. Amen. Praise the Lord.